everyone. Welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to talk about the items that sold for us on the Poshmark and the Macari selling platforms in the month of March. I'm always telling you guys, don't put your eggs all in one basket. Make sure that you're cross-posting and putting your items out there on platforms other than eBay. It increases your chance of getting sales because you're getting in front of more eyeballs, but there's also different eyeballs. So different kinds of people will shop on Poshmark and Macari than will shop on eBay. So by getting your items on all these different platforms, you are casting a bigger net into the ocean, so to speak, and you're really increasing your chances to get more sales. You can cross post on your own one by one. Um, Macari and Poshmark are both super easy to list on. There's a lot less information they ask for. It's a lot faster to create listings on these two platforms. And they don't have the whole item specifics mess that most eBay sellers are used to, but it still is faster to use a tool. We like List Perfectly. We've been affiliated with them since 2019. We met their founders at eBay Open. List Perfectly enables you to cross post in bulk. So you can select, say, 20 items on eBay, and then you can pick which platforms you want to cross post to, and it will pop up the tabs for you and uh, copy paste over the photos, the information, the descriptions and do most of the listing for you. It's just copy and paste. It's not an app you have to get. It's just an extension on Google Chrome. And it makes the process so simple. They have a ton of platforms you can cross post to. And the whole process takes literal minutes. Um, I think it takes me about 10 or 15 minutes to cross post 20 items from eBay to both Poshmark and Macari. And that includes while the tabs are popping up, I'll usually get up and use the restroom and get myself a cup of coffee or a drink and come back and then get the listings live. If you look in our description box down below, there is a link to go to List Perfectly and a coupon code, Flippin' Hippos is the code. You can try List Perfectly for your first month with 30% off. So, there's really nothing to lose. You can try it 30% off your first month if you use our code. And then if you don't like it, you can always cancel it. But I guarantee you, you're going to love it. It makes it so super easy. And then you can get all your items on all these different platforms and increase your chances of sales. And right now, eBay is kind of slow. So it's even more important to pick up extra sales on other platforms to make up for the sales that aren't happening on eBay when it's slow. If you're intimidated or you aren't sure about this perfectly or you don't know how to use it, I will have my video pop up at the end of this video. It'll show up in the corner. It shows you how to bulk cross post on this perfectly in under seven minutes. It's a very short video. And if you still feel lost after that, List Perfectly has their own Facebook group where you can reach out to many, many members of the community reselling community that use it. You can get in touch with their developers, their coders. Um, they're always really, really fast to answer questions and help you out. And also, once you have List Perfectly, a subscription, you can log in on their website and they have tons of videos and um, tutorials that will show you how to use it. I can't praise List Perfectly enough. Um, but all of that said, let's jump in here. This is going to be part one. I'm going to do another video of our items that sold on Poshmark and Macari in the month of April of this year. So you'll be able to see March and April. Now, I did not pull every single item that sold on Poshmark. Our Poshmark has been doing really, really well. We've been selling a lot more volume on there than normal. Again, that makes up for eBay, right? So I just pulled out the highlights, things I really wanted to show you, whether they're really good bread and butter brands or Bolo brands that you should be looking for when you're outsourcing. And then um, on Macari, I did pull every single sale for the month of March and April because they're less, they're not as many, and they're all plush. And you guys know I love to show you all my plush that sells. So let's just jump right on in where we're at. And then tomorrow, we'll come back and look at April, but this will be for March. 
you guys that are longtime viewers have heard me praise Massimo many times. If you're new to the channel and haven't heard me talk about Massimo, it's a Target brand. It has a following. Folks will get attached to certain styles and looks and uh, items within this brand and then Target will pull them when the new stuff comes out and then they'll go online looking for them. And I have always had really good luck with Massimo jeans, the cutoff jean shorts like this or the booty shorts, Massimo shoes, Massimo men's shirts. I just really like the brand. I mean, it's solid bread and butter. It's not going to be a home run $80 sale, but it's solid bread and butter. It sells pretty fast, so it's a good return on your investment quickly. And I, I just never have never had any trouble moving it. And I can get mall brand prices, like really solid bread and butter prices. So you're looking at these Massimo jean shorts here. They have a button fly, which is a plus. I always do well with button flies. There's some ripping and tearing here and a patch and distressing, which we all know for some reason makes things more desirable. And again, I'm showcasing the button fly here. These are a size six, so they're just an average size. Um, which would be, you know, a size I would probably usually avoid in jeans. I try to stick to size 14 and up or the really small size 000 and stuff like that. Um, these sold for $17 on Poshmark. The buyers pay the shipping. If you weren't aware, if you're new to Poshmark, buyers pay the shipping on this platform. You can give them a discount and then that will come out of your your overall profits when Poshmark pays out, but typically they pay the shipping. So $17 for Massimo jeans on the Poshmark platform would be equivalent to about a $20 to $22 sale on eBay because I would have built the cost of shipping into the price on eBay and offered free shipping. So that's very good. Uh, the other thing that Poshmark does on the back end that I really like that eBay doesn't do, with every sale, it will show you what you sold the item for, what your fees were. They're around 20% on Poshmark, uh, which is good because it sounds like a lot. Like People are like, oh, 20%, but you're not paying any subscription fees. There's never any listing fees. There's no promoted cost for promoting your listings or anything like that. You can list as much as you'd like and then it sits until it sells and then you pay your fees so there's a lot less like um hidden fees i guess because ebay has subscription fees listing fees promoted poshmark is just list it for free and when it sales we'll, we'll take our 20 percent. so on the back end they'll show you what you sold it for minus your fees minus any shipping discounts that you gave your buyer and then it shows you your total profit on each and every item. You can look at this. I could show you, but it has the buyer's information and I really don't want to put that on a video. Um, but on each and every item, you can look at the history that way. And then when you see your total profit, like on this one, it was $13.60. Well, I know I paid 99 cents for these at Goodwill. So my total profit on these was $12.60. Easy enough to figure out. Um, again, 20% does sound kind of high, but that's all you ever pay on Poshmark. They also have the added benefit of no returns. Obviously, if someone, say they bought these Massimo shorts and I accidentally sent them a Winnie Pooh stuffed the animal, um, the platform would allow them to item that as described and return it. But as far as buyer's remorse doesn't fit and all that stuff, there's no returns on Poshmark. So... I really like this platform. I just wish I could get it up to a volume of sales that we do on eBay. Um, but I do really like Poshmark. The sharing can get kind of tedious, but we make most of our sales from sending out offers, just like you would on eBay, who actually had initiated offers later. Like Poshmark was the first one to do it. Okay, now you're looking at a men's pair of jeans. These are a brand that was new to me. It's called Diamond Stash. Never heard of it. These came to me in a wholesale lot. Average cost per item in that lot was about two bucks. And a lot of stuff that came in that lot was new to me. A lot of men's brands, jeans and shorts. They all did really well. They were all higher end bread and butter or even luxury or high, high cost. 
Um, that was probably my favorite wholesale lot I bought in all of 2020. Not only did I have a lot of stuff that sold for a ton of bunch of money, but it sold fast and I learned a lot. I learned a lot about men's uh, brands that I had never heard of. Now these obviously are going to have more value to them just because of how they look. They are sandblasted, they are bleached, they are ripped, they are torn, they are distressed, they have paint splatters, they have all this stuff going on. They're just very, very nice and new and unique. Plus they're size 40, which is a really big size, um, equivalent to like, you know, how you would look at a plus size for women. Size 40 is pretty big. So these shorts had a lot going on for them that made them more valuable. Um, they sold for $38. Now, that would be equivalent to around 46 on eBay because um, I would have built in an $8 cost for the padded flat. So you can see where you can make a little bit more money on Poshmark. The buyer paid 38 and then shipping was taken care of. Our profit um, after fees and any discounts we gave in cost of goods, $28.40. Next up, we have these Naturalizer Damon Black Leather Slip-On Mules. I got these at a yard sale. They had a table full of Naturalizer shoes, all still with their nice shoe boxes and everything. Um, I bought most of everything the woman had out, and she gave me a really good deal. I think she had all the shoes priced at like five to 10 bucks, but because I bought everything, it averaged out to like a dollar to two per pair. Um, or most everything. I bought most everything. A couple of pairs when I got them home, when I was photographing them, I gave them a bend in the middle. Um, and they had that rot that shoes get. I forget what it's called. Soul rot. I don't know. But they fell apart. So that was kind of disappointing. But others were still in really good shape. And we made our money back within like the first three or four sales. And any shoes that are still left from that are just profit for us. I've always done well with slip-on mules. Naturalizer is a pretty good bread and butter brand for shoes. These sold for 20 bucks and our profit after everything was said and done is about $15, one five. Next up, a Woolrich shirt. Woolrich used to be good, it's vintage. Um, we got this for 99 cents at the Goodwill. It's unique, so. Um, it may have come out of a wholesale lot, but we did pay around a dollar for it. So it sold for 17. Our profit was $12.60. Next up is a pair of Victoria's Secrets mid-rise flare, and these are the Victoria's Secret hipster. Um, I would source these in the wild if I found them. It's always been a really good brand for me as far as bread and butter. Moves pretty quickly for me, gets pretty good prices. This particular pair came in a thread up box, so our cost was around $1.75, give or take, however much I paid for shipping. They sold on Poshmark for $33, so our profit was $25. Next up, we have a DC Superman. This is the last Son of Krypton t-shirt. So this came out of a wholesale lot. Its cost was right around a dollar or two. Um, you can see the graphic is pretty cool. It's got writing inside of the Superman um, graphic. It's a pretty cool shirt. And had it not been a double XL, if it had it been an XL, I think Keith would have kept it for himself. Uh, sold for 18 Profit was $9.94. Next up, we have these West Virginia Mountaineers um, active shorts. These came from the Goodwill. I paid $0.99 cents for them. I've always done really well with sports stuff. I talked about that in one of my What Sold videos uh, for eBay. I think it was Monday this week. Um, sports stuff does really well, period. But West Virginia, for some reason, does really well. I find a lot of West Virginia here because it's right next door to Pennsylvania. But we've just always done well with this brand. Um, not this brand, with this team, this college. The shorts sold for 18, our cost of goods and fees aside, we made 1340. Next up, we have Levi's 524 Skinny 
two super low chains. So they say 524, two super low on the tag and they are skinny jeans. Uh, some Levi's go for a lot more money than others. So I just always tell people make sure that you comp them when you go to source them or you can research them on your own and just look through the solds on eBay or Poshmark and compare the different types of Levi's. Some have numbers. Some are like the Levi's Denizen that are a little bit lower. They'll go for like 20. But I pick up any and all Levi's I find. These came um, in a thread up box. So they were about $1.75 cost. They sold for $35 and our profit was 26. Next up, we have a pair of Miss Me low rise boot cut jeans. These are white. And this was prior to me using Photo Room to fix the backgrounds on my pictures. I think these would have looked a lot nicer um, and probably sold a little bit quicker. They're a little older. These came from a thread up box. They sold for $57. $57 on Poshmark. And our profit was $41. Next up is men's BKE Tyler jeans. As far as women's BKE jeans, they're bread and butter. Um, but the men's will still fetch a higher price. They have names in them. These are Tyler. Some are Cody. There's Dakota. They just always look like this. They'll say BKE Denim and then they'll have the name. And that's the keyword you want to use because men who like that style or that fit of jeans, that's what they're looking for when they go online. This pair sold for $40. It came out of a thread up box. Our profit was $30. And then we're going to get into the plush that sold on Poshmark in March. We'll start with the Wild Republic Octopus. Wild Republic is a pretty good brand. They make a lot of really nice, realistic animals. If you ever see um, stuff from the zoos and stuff like that, they're usually Wild Republic as well. This was a super cool octopus. He was about 50 cents cost, but he didn't sell for too much. He was a little disappointing. Um, he sold for 12 on Poshmark, so we made six bucks on him. This was super disappointing, but Eeyore is very oversaturated. And unfortunately, when plush get oversaturated, um, you'll see they're not worth very much. There's just too many of them. People are racing to the bottom. They don't know the worth. This stuffed animal with the official Disney store exclusive being an Eeyore, being in a costume, dressed up as a moose, his value should be around 20 to 30. Um, and then you can add calculated shipping on eBay. He should be worth a lot more than 11 bucks, but that's what he sold for on an offer. So our profit, I found him at the Goodwill for like a dollar. Our profit on him was $4. I'd still pick him up again if I found him though, <laughs> just because it's cute. And um, sometimes things will go like in a cycle. Like if there's if I listed this now and comped it, there might be less of them and I might be able to go more towards 20 or 25 for him. Then we have a strawberry shortcake plush doll. I sold another one of these on eBay, identical dolls. One sold on eBay, one sold on Poshmark. These are uh, modern. So if you ever see the vintage strawberry shortcakes, they're obviously going to be worth more. Uh, but the, the modern ones will still do well for you. She's still popular. I got this at the Goodwill for 50 cents. Sold for 19. Our profit was 14.20. Then we have this Fiesta Garfield. Give me a hug, stuffed animal. And that actually is written on his tag. The 8-inch Give me a hug Garfield. Fiesta is a good brand when it comes to vintage plush. Not so much modern day plush, but with vintage characters and vintage plush, I do like the Fiesta brand. Garfield's a good one to pick up anyway. He's a popular character even now. He sold for 17. Our profit was 1064. 
All right, we're going to jump on over to Macari and look at what sold there on March. These are all four of my sales from Macari. Um, four doesn't seem like a lot, but from the from October of 2020 until around February of this year, we only sold one or two items on Macari, and now we're doing a lot better with them. Um, I drop my prices a lot, and I'm putting free shipping on them, and we're shipping through Pirate Ship, so. I just kind of build the price into the price to shipping into the price on Macari the same way you would on eBay and then offer free to the buyer. And then I use pirate ship third party to create the labels. Um, I drop the prices a lot. I've been a lot more active on their listing like five a day and also sending out offers. And so our sales have increased. You'll see when we get to part two of this video tomorrow, April sales really blew up on Macari. So I'm happy with four because we were increasing our sales from like one or two a year to a couple a month. And every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. That's why it's important to cross post. This is a Coles Cares Pout Pout Fish. So it's from a children's um, either book or show. Pretty sure it's a book. Uh, Coles Cares can be hit or miss. There's some characters that will go for a ton of bunch of money and some that are just kind of bread and butter. You do better with recognizable characters, obviously. Um, the one that goes for the most money that I talk about a lot is if the if you give a mouse a cookie mouse. There's a Coles Cares. There's several versions. The one in the denim overalls with the cookie in his hand is the one that sells for a lot. So Macari also does the same as Poshmark on the back end. You can pull up your order and it will show you the fees taken out and everything so you can figure out your profit real easy. We got this octopus for 50 cents. He sold for 14. I did have to average out the shipping though because I um, didn't go on to PayPal and look at the exact shipping that we paid on each of these labels. I just kind of averaged it out. Most, most first class plush are going to be between three and like four to ship. So approximately $8 is what we made on this octopus. This is a pair of yokai watch dudes. <laughs> dudes. This is Batman and Wiglin. I had a bunch of these a long time ago, years ago. I believe they came from the pens. <laughs> um, I calculated their cost of goods averaged out to 50 cents for the sake of this video. Um, we had a bunch. They sold really fast. They sold for a lot more than this. And then they just kind of, this last pair we had just wouldn't move for years. Finally sold on Macari for $15.15, $15, um, averaging out everything around $9 profit. Walt Disney World, Fantasia, Mickey Mouse. This is another um, oversaturated character. Um, it's official Disney Park. So you can see the Walt Disney World there. And he's from Fantasia. Uh, he sold for 11 He came from Goodwill, 50 cents. So about $6 profit. And last but not least, on Macari for March, we sold a Jungle Joe's Safari Friends Charo Cheetah. He came from our wholesale lot that we got from Greg. Hi, Greg. And he was about 50 cents cost. Um, he does roar and talk. He's 16 inches long. He talks. He roars. He is super stinking cute. You guys, I almost wanted to keep him. Look. So if you see any of these Jungle Joes animals that are interactive and talk, um, this is what the tag looks like, Jungle Joes Safari Friends. And then it'll tell you the name of the animal in quotes, and that's what you want to use as keywords for sure because that's what people are going to be looking for. Just make sure you test them. And you can see here I say that he was tested. And he is so cute. He sold for $25. He sold within like two days of being moved of cross post over to Macari. He sold really fast. Our profit on him was around $18 after shipping and cost of goods. So he was a nice little find.
keep your guys' eyes peeled for them Jungle Joe's Safari friends. All right, that's the end of this video. I'll see you back tomorrow with part two. We'll show you and talk about what sold in April. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I always love to hear from you guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out. If you haven't already and you'd like to, please subscribe to our channel. Help us feed a hungry hippo. Don't forget to join our Facebook group. It's called Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Free to join. You can search for it on Facebook or use the link in the description box down below. Until next time, go be productive and go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. We appreciate you guys. Y'all are the best. Bye.